we are back in Way of the Hunter again today, and finally, we are checking out the Transylvania map. I actually intended to do this a day earlier, but all the things between the 4-star Whitetail, the 5-star Pheasant, and buying a pass to a new chunk of land in North America kind of slowed that down, but I'm really excited to see what we can find out here. I'm curious as to what species we may encounter in the kind of starting area, because much like North America, there are four passes to four chunks of land that we don't have access to at the beginning. And we'll kind of see what we can run into. We're just going to head down the road and see what's out here. And that didn't take five minutes. And we've got a pretty big group of wild boar out here. And like pretty much every other species we've seen, only the males have the star rating. There was a two-star mature in there. It is going to be a little bit tougher, I think, to differentiate. So I want to take the time to spot. And I can only assume these are going to be a hunting tier five animal. So something we'd want to take with the 7mm Mod 8. If we can find that mature one again, which, like I said, differentiating and finding the the right one, I think it's going to come down to a lot of just spawning around and trying to figure out. It's actually at the back, so that's probably good for our purposes. And if we can get him broadside, which actually he is, I think we'll try it. Look just about perfect. I want to see what kind of animations we have. As of now, he's pretty well keeping up with the herd. I don't even know which one he is. It's gonna be important, I think, to keep our vantage here and, and watch and see if he goes down. Because it felt like the shot was pretty much perfect. And yet, at least I didn't see any of them start to stumble or go down or anything. Now, there's so many in there he could have fallen behind some brush and I wouldn't have known. I guess we'll try to spot and see if he's still out there somewhere. I'm not sure where the shot could have hit, but more so than just wanting to make sure we get it, I want to know if it's a misunderstanding of where to aim or, or what happened there. I am relatively certain that I've had the binoculars pass over every single one of these boar, and none have been a two-star mature, so maybe it did drop in the brush, I don't know. And I really didn't do the best job of marking where it would have been. Mostly because I was trying to keep my eye on where they actually ran to. So this might be tough, but hopefully we can figure out the tracks and see where he got to. And the boar are just kind of refusing to actually go anywhere. So what we might do is go ahead and try to take that one star adult. I am pretty confident that the first one went down. It's just a matter of actually finding it. So if this guy will go broadside for a second. I feel like that's going to be a good hit. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that. Because I'm pretty sure I can still see the other blood. So I'm still interested. I wonder was that vocalization. Maybe that's just what they do when they flee. I thought for a second that might have been something they do when they go down. But yeah, I mean, good looking blood pink medium amount of air bubbles. I wonder how he managed to stay out of sight or maybe the stumbling is not so obvious, but there you go. He was just down right behind the brush. I guess that's, if anything, really good reason to keep an eye on things and go and check. So that guy is gonna be worth 500 credits and we actually hit him in the heart, which I think is our first heart shot so far on any species, not half bad. That's crazy, he almost convinced me that he got away despite the fact that we hit him literally perfect. In the end though, got the 500 credits for it and 339 pound boar is kind of similar to some of the mule deer, so I think they have a similar sell price. And then, I felt like our shot on the second one should have been just as good. If we can locate the blood, which I kind of think they might have been a little farther up. That would be indicative of another pretty good shot. So shot that one right through the heart as well. I guess their heart is just a little further back than most animals. And to be honest, looking at that, it looks like it is. I would say most hearts would be kind of down in here. That's pretty cool. I like that we're getting the heart shots, even if the heart is being hit with a little lower energy than would be required. It's still helping out. And of course, we're going through the near side lung first. That one was a good bit lighter, only 375 credits, but that's pretty cool. Got two boar pretty quickly, despite the interesting way that it went. 
And uh, like I said, we hadn't even gone that far. We're just south of the starting lodge there. I would say though, at least at first glance, that wild boar are gonna be kind of the first species you're running into a good bit on this map. And I thought there was another two-star mature in here somewhere. Might've been further back. There he's right there. 190 yards out, but again, while they're standing still, and kind of given the fact that our shots have been pretty much on for them, I think we'll try it. Look to be kind of that same animation. There's a ton of blood out there. Now, I want to watch and at least try. Okay, they don't go that far. It really could have been an expectation that they'd run kind of farther like some of the deer that we've had. And maybe I just wasn't focusing on the right pig. It could have very easily just gone through the brush though and disappeared. There's not a, a very pronounced stumbling or anything. They kind of just run until they drop. And I probably should mention, wild boar are not something that I have much of an idea of what they would do. That is so cool though. Having the blood right there on the grass where he dropped. But I have no idea. I assume that's probably about correct. And again, I, I tend to give them the benefit of the doubt because everything else has been so realistic in terms of those animations. Again though, through the heart, or was it shockwave damage that hit the heart? I think that's what that means. I'm not 100% sure if I understand that, but I think the cavity damage is kind of like a, a shockwave thing, because we didn't actually hit it with the bullet, but it is very close to it. If they've got that in there, it's just amazing level of detail to consider what the energy of the bullet, even what it doesn't hit, would actually do, but we're making quite a lot of credits here just by shooting wild boar. And I mean, these hills, I really want to see red deer in them. Not necessarily these specific ones. I wouldn't mind if they're a little farther away from the starting lodge, but it just looks like the kind of area you'd expect to see them in. And I don't know if it'll be today. I have no idea what direction we need to head in to find them. But whenever we encounter our first red deer, I think that's gonna be a really cool experience. Well, this is a bit of a bummer. We finally find some red deer. Even if the, I think only stag is a young one, but we're on private land. So I guess good to know that they're in this area and there is one really big advantage to even running into them. But to take a look at the map, we're not that far north. So I'm thinking that means in all likelihood, almost any of the passes we buy are going to at least have the potential of having red deer on it. Now, the thing that I mentioned that is so important is that there is a zone for them right back here somewhere. I think it is this right here. And anytime you get a zone for an animal, it adds it to your encyclopedia. So we can actually find out what the proper hunting tier is for the weapons. And I was curious, do we want to go with 300 for these or do we need to go with something lower? And I'm not sure if we have to go back to the lodge for that. In fact, we can look at it right here. So we'll go to the animal section, find the red deer, and they are a tier six. So we're gonna wanna have the 300. I think maybe the 7 mm mod 8 could hit up around that 2600, 2700 joules, but we'll probably wanna go with the 300. So I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if we have the potential of running into any red deer on land we can actually hunt. So I think for now, we'll not go back and get a bigger gun, but we'll have to see if we can find a spot where they do exist on the public land, then we're gonna have to consider it. You know, actually, we're only maybe one, but most likely two kills away from being able to purchase a pass to a new area. I kind of think that should be our move. So we may just try to take one of the one stars out here. I don't see a two star and they're about 200 yards out. So we'll probably wait till we get a slightly better angle. I know we've done pretty well shooting the boar so far, but I don't know that now's the time to start taking risky shots. So that was the one that we wanted. And honestly, if we can get a chance at two of them, we may go for that. Again, just because so far shooting the boar has gone pretty well and that amount of blood looks pretty similar to what has taken them down quickly. And once again, 
that one went absolutely nowhere, so maybe even better than trying to rush a second shot could be just kind of following where they go. As you can see, it's pretty open and we can pretty well track their movements, so if this doesn't end up being like 534 cash or better, which it probably won't, we will need one more still. And you know, one thing that we have not taken advantage of enough is the photo feature. Now, I'm not sure this is the best place to do it. The way the sun is, in theory, we want to be back here. But I don't know that it's going to work with the brush, actually. That's not that bad. I'd love to be able to kind of push some of the grass down. But that works pretty good. We're not going to worry too much about that. I don't know how we just changed that. I'm actually pretty happy with that, so that'll work out pretty good. And by the way, one of the cool things about the photo feature, there is no take screenshot button or anything like that. You're just using your normal screenshot, whether you're on console or on Steam, and that will save it, obviously, to your screenshots folder and allow you to have that for whatever you want to do with it, posting it in discords or anywhere like that. Once again, a hard shot, just barely, but because it is like that kind of tan color, that is a indication that we actually hit the heart and not just had the shockwave damage, but worth only 341 credits, that one being a little bit lower. So one more then, and I think we'll try to get up into that area. Now, it's a little bit tough, at least at first, knowing which paths to purchase, but I think there is a way to figure it out, and when we get to that, we'll see if that is indeed the case. Now, that is a pretty cool surprise. Got some Mouflon out here. I'm not sure. There's one in there. There's a one-star adult. And that might be the one that we want to go for. Now, I don't know if we should be going with the 7mm Mod 8 or the 3030, but my guess is if you use too big a gun, it's just going to cause some extra meat wastage. And I get the impression they know we're here. So I want to go with a slightly overpowered weapon, if anything, and that probably is indicative of an overpowered weapon, but I think it's still going to get us the credits we're looking for, and I guess, if anything, get to learn on a lower scoring one. But as he kind of slides down the hill here, we'll take a look and see. We actually got a little bit of a hit on the heart and also some of the shockwave hitting the heart. So what I want to know then is, from the hunt part. Oh, actually, less than a pound of meat wastage. I guess that's good to know. In theory, we're absolutely fine to take them that way. So the one thing, I don't know if we can find, oh, harvesting one actually does it. I wanted to get the encyclopedia and know for sure. And if we go back to the animal section, Mouflon are in the tier 5, so that actually was the correct choice. I'm glad we didn't go 30-30, because that's what I thought we were going to need to do. But that does take us over 4,500 credits. Now, I should probably say, there's a good chance we could find Red Deer without getting access to another area. But I do want to try it, and I also, I have like a natural draw to go north for some reason on any map. And the fact that we only have access to the south part of this map is going to continually have me walking into private property. So... We're not actually going to buy the pass yet. So actually, I realized here in the main lodge, there is a map and I've been able to locate three of the four regions. There is the door apex up here. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The, I think it's Aurora Woods right down in here. And then up here somewhere is the Umbra Tara. Now, according to this map, there are four of the lodges one here, which is where we're trying to go, two in the north, and one in the kind of east center of the map. I can't find the name of the other pass on that east center area, but I think because of the way things are spread out, the Aurora Woods are going to be what we want. I really hope I'm right, tried my best to figure out where it would actually be, and there is of course the Aurora Woods private pass, so I guess we're gonna buy it and head up to where we saw those red deer and see if it ends up telling us it is private land or not. Well, the good news is, we did pick the correct property to get access to, so I'm glad the map was useful for that in the lodge, but the bad news is, or I guess it could be more good news depending on how you look at it, 
this has been the toughest hunt by far for any species so far in Way of the Hunter. I cannot tell you how many red deer I've spooked trying to get this opportunity, and for that reason, we're probably going to try to get into about 150, and I think that's going to have to be the stag we take. There is the young one there, but I think a one-star adult is going to be the move, and yeah, I think we better cover a good 100 meters. I definitely do not want to have another one of these situations, and I do think, probably similar to the moose, red deer should be worth a fair bit of credits, and probably from this one if we can get them, that's going to go directly into a red deer collar. I think this is probably going to be our spot. If we get much closer, we're going to be dealing with having to either cross the creek or all the brush on our way, but eventually, I'm hoping this guy is going to turn for us. And the one thing I noticed as we're sitting here, I love that they're feeding in that low point. Realistically, that's probably where they would be where they have the most cover and it would be the toughest for predators to see them. Fortunately for us, we came from the other hillside though and we're able to actually spot them down in there, but we'll go ahead and get the 300 ready. I want to probably zero for 164, so just going to be a matter of waiting for him to turn. I think we might finally have our opportunity and it's taken waiting for him to walk all the way out of there, but I think we can do this. We got some kind of achievement or perk and he is definitely not going very far from that. So much like with the moose it would seem, the 300 on a red deer does pretty well. That is, it seems a much more in-depth kind of stumbling animation than, than we saw with the deer. So finally, after it felt like waiting for 20 minutes, we got a shot and clearly it was worth taking the time to get a good broadside shot lined up, but I think that was for the gunslinger thing somewhere in here. In fact, with the bolt action rifles, that's the 50th shot hitting the lungs, artery, or heart. That's going to give us 25% faster chambering, that's pretty cool. but. Hopefully in the time to read that, our red deer will have expired. And we can go and take a look. And that was one of the reasons, actually, at the beginning with the wild borer, that I wanted to go into the photo mode. I kind of wanted to remind myself that that was a thing if we were to get an opportunity to take a red deer. And two, almost three hours into this hunt, we finally did get one. It may not be a big one, but at the very least, he kind of landed in a good spot to do this. So... We'll see how we can get lined up. Probably going to need to move around a couple times. I really do like what's possible with this photo mode, though. It just, it allows for so much adjustment. You can really get just about the perfect picture. And the one thing I think we might do here is, I think we need to offset the tilt the other way, just to kind of line that up. And then what we'll do is adjust the time of day for the best lighting, which probably is going to be kind of early to mid-afternoon. Actually, the evening sun, probably because of the hills, actually hits us better. So let's go with that. Pretty cool. It makes the animal itself look huge doing it that way, but no complaints. It is a large animal in general. It's going to be worth 558 credits. I actually thought it'd be worth more than that. But it was a single lung shot only? I guess it was the angle. The amount of flesh and stuff I had to go through, it didn't quite get into the far side lung it looks like so that's good to know definitely want to get a little more broadside if we can but an angle like that will work and no surprise 35 percent on the genetics as a one star adult but let's go ahead and sell that I actually do want to see market price is 155 per pound they actually are about the same weight as some of the really heavy mule deer over on the north america map but anyway let's sell that and before we move on, I want to go back to the lodge and purchase a red deer collar, or perhaps that will be for next time. Now, I haven't messed with the collars yet, but as you can see, there are two different kinds of calls, one for low fitness males and one for high fitness males, so I think that'll be fun to mess with. By the time we come back here, we will have enough credits to purchase that, and maybe we'll give that a try. But I've got to say, we're going to need a little bit of an advantage over just stalking around as we did today. That was really tough, but cool that we got one, and I'm looking forward to seeing some larger ones as we continue out here on Transylvania. But anyway, 
that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.